This video reviews frequency diagrams and how to construct them. Though bear in mind that normally you'd use graph paper, this video is here to give you an idea of how to construct them and then to answer a question linked to the data. Now this data is continuous, it's time. Time is measured rather than counted. And when you've got this sort of grouped continuous data, then we use, and when it's got a regular equally sized class interval, in this case 10 each time, then we represent this data using what's called a frequency diagram. And that's basically a bar graph. So what we do is we go right, between 0 and 10 minutes there were 36 people. So all I do is I draw a bar which goes up to 36 on the y-axis between 0 and 10. So again, this is where the graph paper normally comes in. But it's roughly about here, isn't it? So 36, a big bar between 0 and 10. So the height represents the frequency. Between 10 and 20 minutes, there were 34 people. So again, between 10 and 20, rather than go as high as 36, I'll go as high as 34. So there we go again. This is a bit rough, this, but it gives you the idea of how to draw the graph. There were 18 people between 20 and 30 minutes. So 18, about there, look. So here we go. A bar between 20 and 30. And then between 30 and 40, there were 12. So they're about there, just above 10. There we go. So that's how we construct a frequency diagram, though of course normally you would have graph paper and do it more accurately. It's a bar graph. Now, in part two, we're asked to estimate how many people in the this, in this school take more than 20 minutes to travel to school. Now, this table here, if we add these numbers up, has got one hundred pupils in. And so from this sample, 18 plus 12, which is 30, 30 out of 100 pupils take more than 20 minutes. So I can therefore estimate that if 30 out of 100 take more than 20 minutes, if there are 600 in the school, that's times by 6. So roughly out of 40, 180, which is 30 times by 6, will take more than 20 minutes. Again, it's an estimation, but probably a fairly valid estimation, as long as this sample here was not biased in any particular way.